You're still watching the AM show now with only 50 days remaining until this year's presidential and parliamentary elections. The demand for good roads, improved health care and a functioning or functional harbour and job creation remains a top priority for the constituents of Keta, my homeland. Now in this edition of Constituency Lens, Carlos Caloni takes us on a journey to the shores of Keta, its streets and its bustling markets offering insight into the concerns at the very heart of the voters. You want to take a look at that, and then after that, we get, a, um, we get into a conversation right here in the studio. Enjoy. Hello, welcome to the Keta constituency. In today's edition of Your Constituency Watch, we are gauging the minds of constituents. What is on their heart? What are their demands? What are they looking for? What are the things they want to see before they uh, vote in this uh, election? We are also speaking to the aspirants. What solutions? are they bringing on board? What have they been able to do for this particular constituency for which reason they want to go to parliament? Come with me as we engage both the constituent as well as as parent to understand where this constituency will fall in December elections. I'm here with one uh, senior uh, fisherman to tell us the concerns and the issues that will inform his vote. So what are the issues for you going into this election? Eh, <laughs> I if you feel like you are a coda, you are there who can soon cut a yard and gone on me. Me more pomba, me ever knew me zana or a genami vivi, a me petrol dish or a genami a rock, bluff who if you are bomb or two, me a fisherman like this are O Conneve, but you run a pumar, a half fire and a lemon, I mean, caca if you are no coven and a mammal and go, O Gadana Garaja woo, where me have a pillar stock run go. For me to vote this year, 2024, I have three issues that I want the government to address for me, or any political party coming for their manifesto. I want to see that reflect in their manifesto. The first one is premise. It's been long we have premise here, and then when our official force goes to fish, the, the price of fish becomes high because the what they use, the petrol they use, is very expensive. So when the uh, uh, premise is in, I'm sure the price of fish will be reduced a little bit. And then secondly, I also want a fish processing unit here in our community. Because sometimes some of the youth wish to engage in the fish industry, but they don't have the necessary requirements or equipment to start. So when there is a fish processing industry here, I'm sure it's going to help all the youth to get something doing. If I see that in any of their manifestos, if it is NDC, NPP, GUM, any political party that has captured that, I'm sure I'm going to vote for them. This year before I vote, I have some small things like uh, some three ideas that I want to share with the nation. And one, I want our leaders to get in mind that we the youth in this country are the head of the state. So if they come or any MP or any political party that will come on this year 2024 election, I want us to see through their manifesto that they have good idea for we the youth. Because we the youth, we cannot vote and at the end of the day or at the end of the year, we are not seeing anything from them. 
And secondly, I want to ask our leaders again that we, the Keta municipality or Keta constituency, are we part of the, this team? So the reason why I ask that is, like we, the Keta people, if anything that comes, like slots and other things, we are not among. Most of them are Santa region, northern region, and other parts. But we, the Keta people, too, we are well to do. But they forget us. So before me, Nicholas, say, vote for any party, I have to see through their manifesto that this year or the next year, if they come on power, they are going to help we, the voter, like especially the Keta municipality people, so that we, too, we get something to do. <laughs>
yes. these challenges, yes. a way to intervene. Yes. And then what is your plan to actually help them get this needs? Yes, so as I speak to you, you know I'm a member of Agri-Food and Local Affairs, mm -hmm. the Parliamentary Select Committee. Mm -hmm. And our committee have oversight responsibility of Fisheries Ministry and Minister of Agri. And based on that, because I'm a member of that com uh, committee, mm -hmm. I use that committee as a platform to influence uh, the, the whoever matters in terms of fuel, uh, fuel uh, premise fuel. Mm -hmm. Formerly fuel, uh, 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 premise fuel have not been going to the constituency. Mm -hmm. So the fisher folks have to call me. I have to talk to the uh, premise secretariat, and then they have to, I mean, send this premise to uh, the constituency. So I have been doing that. But the only problem is that when the fuel goes to the uh, constituency, the right people who are supposed to actually get the, 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 those who are really going into fishing, sometimes, you know, uh, diversion of premise fuel, sometimes not selling to the right people, okay. sometimes people okay. buy and then resell so to the are people. The these are challenges. Okay. And then in addition to that, I've, I was able to lobby the Minister of Fisheries to get above motors for the people. But the problem subsidized. persists. Let me come yes. to you, Ayara. Now, Ayara, what, what is your plan for your constituency towards these demands that you're making? Okay, I think the right thing must be done. Mm. Uh, my brother, was, he was just talking about how he lobbied for the premix to get to our people down there. I think something is wrong somewhere from the top. Okay, I think the best thing for us to do is they should have a center where the premix will come from Accra straight to the center. No curve, no bend. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then anybody who wants to buy should go to the center and buy it. But he is saying that the premix come to the center and it goes to the wrong people. Why should that happen? It means somebody is not doing his work. What is your assessment of the current member of parliament for Kete constituency? About my brother sitting here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, to me... You're obviously criticizing that there's a gap in what you know, he yeah. is doing. So what, what's, what's the assessment? Okay, to me, listen to the constituency uh -huh. and me, my view. Mm -hmm. I think he has done what he said he has done, but he can do more than that by listening to the people, make sure they have what it takes to get what they want. You get it. So you're seeking to unseat him because you think that he hasn't done enough for the people of Keta constituency. Yeah, let me say so. Okay. I no, think, so, I think. So good. So I guess yeah. I, I'm getting to a point. So now I want to circle back to the question I asked you. Mm -hmm. Giving you the mandate, mm -hmm. what are you going to do differently? Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do dif different is I'm going to make sure the, what our people need mm -hmm. in terms of, let's say, the fisher folks. Mm -hmm. Okay, they need premix. Mm -hmm. They need album moto. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, because of what is going on there, they don't have money to facilitate these things. We need to help them achieve that. So what I'm going to do is I'll seek to it that I get the right people in authority or in my camp, they will make sure that the right thing is done, okay? I will personally make sure that okay. Mr. Jolly. Yes, you know. You are, you're, you're, should I say opponent is seeking to unseat you because he says obviously you have, there are some gaps in what you're doing and he uh, wants to do better than you. Oh, thank you very you much. Know, people are also talking specifically about specific things. Yes. And you've already elaborated on what you yeah. have done. Yes. And I like that you say there's eye care problem. Is that, you know, something that yeah. you've identified that yes. needs attention. Yes. But how can the people of Keta constituency trust you to keep you in office if... There are still gaps in the needs that, um, and their needs not being met. Yeah, thank you very much. This is an opposition MP, member of parliament. And this is the first time being in parliament in opposition. It's not NDC that is in power. So that is why we are, we are asking everybody to vote for NDC this time. Because under our manifesto, we have, we have outlined certain 
interventions that we are going to give Keta people. You know, we can argue that in terms of power, you are in power as yes. the individual representing. Yes, yes you, are, you are in power. So yeah. people must understand the rule and responsibility of member of parliament. Uh -huh. You see, premise is a central government that, that, that give premise. Mm -hmm. And then premise is governed by law. It's an act. And those committees formed by an act, how, how can, you can't intervene. Are you getting the uh, point? Got the government in power have actually used the law to establish premise committees. Mm -hmm. And the premise committees have centers. For example, when you go to Keji, we have uh, Abu Chakopo, we have a center. Mm -hmm. We have Vuja, we have a center. Uh, Hovi, we have a center. Uh, um, Blekusu, we have. We have Nukba Sekot, we have. Mm -hmm. And then all those places are the premise uh, outlets. Because of that, that is why as a committee, I have advocated for mechanization, automation of premise for where fisher folks can be given a card let's say like ATM card, where the quota, based on the uh, canoe you use, a quota will be given to you to eliminate the middlemen. Because they already go with the yellow gallon, go and buy this fuel and hold them, later on add some profit on it before selling to the fisher folk. We need to eliminate that. And that one can be done because there is political influence in that committee. So, so, so in I'm, response to your critics who say you have failed, mm -hmm. you're saying that it is not your government in power. Yes, of course. And so that's a limitation. Yes, a limitation. Because the, the committee... I'll come from, to you, yeah, right. The committee is formed by, by uh, the committee, composition committee. It's a, more or less a partisan committee. Because apart from the uh, chief fisherman, the rest of the people are nominated by digital assembly. And so who is the decision? Final assembly? bit before I move to the you. The final bit is that you, shaking your head. you don't, you, you see, you can claim that you can do it, but you have, you have no mandate. You have that power to actually do anything there when your government is not. You have no power. You have no power. I know yeah, you are disagreeing. You let's have hear, no power let's, let's, when your government is not in power. Hear, yes, let's Because let's hear, it's yeah, governed yeah, by law. Hold for me. Yeah, you are. He says he has no power. He has power. He has power. <laughs> I mean... Uh, my sister, <laughs> I'm not here to chastise him or to <laughs> say anything bad about him, but the truth is one. He's a member of parliament. <laughs> he is representing the people from Keta constituency. So if something is going on that is not good or they are suffering, no matter what happens, he should find a channel. He's been given a mandate to do what he's supposed to do, or he, what he, uh, he said to the people. There are a lot of uh, members of parliament from uh, NDC, they are in power, they are in a parliament. NDC is not in power, we all know. But they are trying to help their constituency. Okay. Do you get it? So your constituency so is think you right now. Yes, I You're think, sending a lot of comments. I think, I and, think uh, that mm -hmm. what he's supposed to do We do is, have to go. What he's supposed to do is not supposed to sit and rely on the government. He's supposed to do <laughs> what he's supposed to lobby. What you is get? Lobby? No, no. What is lobby? Let me tell you something, uh, madam, madam, so, let, madam, so, madam, so, madam, so, madam. Let me. He, who are you going to lobby? Madam, no, let me make a point. Come to you for your madam, let me make a point. Seconds, let me make a point. Let me make a point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am standing as MP. I'm not yet. I'm a PC. Mm -hmm. I went round to the constituency. I have, uh, I mean, seen a, a lot of problems or the people said they are in need. They want this, they want this. There are four different uh, communities that they don't even have place of defecation. Not even uh, 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 KVIP or even uh, uh, okay. Job. All right. So that's <laughs> that, that's that's our time. No, 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 no. You, you give me one. You give me some few minutes. <laughs> I, I have a budget now. We have Listen. to go. Yeah, yeah. We have to go. The, the Kaka, issue is that you are people, the member of parliament. People in must, yes. And you are saying you have no power. But no, I'm not saying I have no power. As I have in me. terms of premise war. Okay. Am I going to import it? Well, that was not the only issue there. Yes, I have done school building. I provide furniture. I have done fiber cases. I have done uh, 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 pediatric care. I have renovated schools, I have been new schools. I, have, I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of achievement. Okay. A lot. And they're supporting 400 people for school fees. And I have put 1,000 people under apprenticeship program to give them skills and give them working tools.
Thank you so much. This is four years. And in December 2024, mm. um, in about 50 days, mm. the people will decide. Oh, I'm going, I'm definitely going the to of you. Whether you're Yura Kwashi, oh. Kwau from oh. LP. I can or tell you. Is that all? Is that all? Yes, that's all. I'm sorry. That's the time that we have to No, the time is not enough for us. Yes, we'll invite you again, hopefully. So thank you so much. We had the current member of parliament on the NDC's ticket. That is Mr. Kwame Jijoli Gakpe. And then we also have from the Liberal Party of Ghana, Yaira Kwashi, who joining us for constituency lens, um, focusing on the Keta constituency. And that's it for this belt of conversations, but there's still a lot coming your way on the AM show. We'll be right back.